So you can also apply, you don't have to just apply a ramp to that, you can apply any effects to those adjustment layers. Very useful, rather than going in and manually using, even though the plugin is great and it adds for a bunch of dynamic control over the glow, I just particularly, I wanted that gradient feel to it. So whatever you really want to do, completely up to you. And, uh, you know, experiment with it. You know, have fun. Have fun. That's the most important thing, guys. The most important thing. So anyway, that pretty much wraps up the tutorial, but I did promise, you know, at the beginning of the video, just for those of you who are curious, how I went about doing the full effect. Um, where do I start? I think the first thing that I did was I created the particles, and really up to this point that we're at now, to be, to be honest, we're at this exact same point. Um, I created all the particles that we have up to this point, and uh, that was by far the hardest part. Uh, from that point on, I did some basic keyframing of camera positions by linking the camera to a null object, making the null object a 3D layer, and then added some text with the trap code shine plugin to get some real bursts of light from behind the text. And uh, I keyed all that up with some music, some audio. There was no levels or you know expressions, nothing. It was just keyframes. So that's why I really didn't cover it in this tutorial. It wasn't mandatory. Um, you know. All this stuff was covered in my previous lessons. So, with that, as always, guys, my name is Graham with Tutorial Clarity. Let me get this zoom right before I say it. Maybe move a little to this way. There we go. Take care.